everyone. Today's lesson is reflections on the coordinate plane. This is our second type of transformation. We've already done translations and now we are going to reflect. If you have a copy of the lesson worksheet, take that out now. If not, you should take out a sheet of graph paper so that you can copy down the examples and follow along as we go through the lesson. Let's get started. Here's the problem. We are going to reflect triangle ABC over the Y axis, and we're going to write the coordinates of the image. Okay, so first of all, a reflection is like a mirror image. It's when you take something and you flip it, right? So sometimes a reflection, we might want to make a little note of this, is referred to as a flip, right? It's a mirror image. And what we do is we flip it over or we, we reflect it over what they call the line of reflection. So that's the line that they're telling you to reflect it over. Now in this case, we are going to reflect triangle ABC over the Y axis. So I know when I have a coordinate plane that this is my X axis and this is my Y axis. So I'm going to be taking this particular triangle right here and I'm going to be flipping it over the Y axis, which is going to move it over to this side of my graph. It's going to move it from the right side over to the left side. Okay, now, first thing I am going to do is I am going to highlight my line of reflection. So I'm going to draw a line right on the Y axis because that's the line that I will be reflecting over. All right, let's start reflecting. Now, this is just a matter of counting spaces, right? Step two, we're gonna move each point across the line of reflection, and the points must be the same distance from the line of reflection, but in opposite directions. So in other words, if point A starts out being one space to the right of my line of reflection, then my image of point A is gonna be one space to the left, right? And we're just gonna put our little apostrophe there. If point B is one space to the right, then point B prime, right, or my image of point B is going to be one space to the left. And then for point C, right, now sometimes I just start at this point and I count until I hit the line of reflection and then I count the same number of spaces the other way. So let me show you that. Here's point C. So I start counting. One, two, three, four. If it took me four, if it took me four times to get there, one, two, three, four, the other direction means it would end up over there, right? Either way, it's four places to the right to start out with. Now it's four places to the left. All right, the next thing is we are going to draw some lines here so that we can draw the image of our new triangle, right? So we've got this and this. Oh, that one's a little bit long that maybe and then we have this one so when you draw your lines that gives you your image of triangle ABC okay now we're going to write the coordinates of this image so point A this is my origin right here this is where I need to start the image of point A is at negative 1 positive 1 so negative 1 positive Point B is up here. This time it's at negative 1, positive 4. And point C is over here. So if I start at the origin, it's negative 4, positive 4. Okay, so we have now reflected triangle ABC over the y axis. All right, now it says let's reflect triangle ABC over the x axis. All right, here we go. Let's highlight our line of reflection. So this time I'm going to highlight the x-axis, which is right here in pink. And we'll do this whole problem in pink. So we're going to reflect triangle ABC over the x-axis. So now it's going to start here on the top of my graph, and it's going to end up down here on the bottom, right? I'm going to flip it over this pink line. All right, point A is one above the line of reflection, so my image of point A will be one below. Point B is four units above the line of reflection, so point B prime, or the image, will be four units below. 
and then point C. It's four units above the line of reflection, so it will now be four units below. And again, I am going to draw some lines here. So I can draw the image of my triangle. And it's going to be a mirror image, right? It's not like when we do a translation where the shape is in exactly the same position, right? Now it is a mirror image. So we can see that triangle ABC, when it is flipped over the x-axis, is now down here. Okay, let's draw or let's write the coordinates now of this figure. So point A prime is 1 to the left and down 1. So it is positive 1 and negative 1. Point B is 1 to the left and down 4, so it's positive 1 and negative 4. And point C is over here, it's 4 to the right and down 4, so it is positive 4 and negative 4. All right, so there are our first two examples of reflections. We did one across the y-axis and one across the x-axis. And now let's move on and we're going to reflect over some different lines. Okay, this time they want us to reflect figure LMNO over the line x equals negative 1, and then write the coordinates of that image. Okay, so this is the line we're reflecting over, x equals negative 1. Now, I want to tell you that whenever you have an x equals, right, an x equals equation, that is a vertical line. So x equals negative 1 is going to be a vertical line at negative 1. So let's highlight that line first of all. So here's negative 1, right? x equals negative 1. So when I'm on my x-axis right here, I go to negative 1 and I'm going to draw a vertical line right at that point, like that. All right, let's start reflecting. Here we go. So point L, I can start with point L, is 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the left of the line. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four places after the line, and that's where my image of point L will be. Point M is one place to the left of the line, so my image of point M will be one place to the right. Point N is one to the left, so my image of point N will be one to the right. Notice how I'm putting my little apostrophes. And point O is 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right is where point O it will be. All right, here we go. We are going to draw some lines now. So we got this one. Now, of course, you're going to be using your ruler when you do this. which will make it look a lot nicer than what's going on here. And you always want to make sure that you are using a ruler, right? Use a straight edge so that you make your lines look very nice. Okay. So for some reason, I can't quite get this line exactly on it, but that's close enough. Okay, so that's what my image would look like. All right, then the last thing we're going to do is we are going to write the coordinates for the new points. So point L is right here. Remember, you're always starting at the origin. Don't make the mistake of starting at this line, right? When you write your ordered pairs, it's from the origin. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So point L is positive 3, positive 3. Point M is right here, right? Here's my origin. I'm not going left or right at all. I'm just going up 2. So point M is 0. Two. Point N is right here. It's right at the origin, right? So that's just going to be 0, 0. And then point O is over here. If I start at my origin, I'm going 3 right and 1 down. So that's going to be a positive 3 and a negative 1. All right, last example. We are going to reflect EFGH, right, which is this skinny little rectangle up on the top here, over the line Y equals 2. All right, now, if an X equals equation is a vertical line, then a Y equals equation is going to be a horizontal line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my line of reflection. Okay, 
y equals 2. So on the y-axis, I'm going to go up to 2, and I'm going to draw a line right at y equals 2. So that is my line of reflection. All right, let's go back now, and we will reflect this figure. Point F. It started at 2 above the line, so my image of point F is going to be 2 below the line, which would be right here. Put a little apostrophe. My point E is 3 above the line, so my image of point E will be 3 below the line. Right? Make sure we're always putting those apostrophes. Point G is 2 above the line, so my image of point G is going to be 2 below the line. And point H is 3 above the line, so my image will be 3 below the line. Right? And I just want to make sure that I am labeling the points as I go, right? Because sometimes when you don't label the points as you go along, um, then it gets a little bit confusing at the end, and you're not sure which point was which. You just want to make sure that you are labeling them as you go. And especially when we get to rotations, which we're going to do next, that's when it's really important. All right, so here is our image of EFGH after it has been reflected over this line, right? And I think it might be a good idea. Let's write this on here, just so when you look back at your notes. Whoops, I did not want to do that. Um, let's write on here, when you look back at your notes, you realize that this is the line right here for y equals 2, right? And then maybe on this one, let's label this one too, that this is x equals negative 1, right? Just so you remember that y equals lines are horizontal and x equals lines are vertical. All right, now let's write some ordered pairs. So point E is down here now. I'm going to start at the origin. It's going to be negative 4. Oh, wait a minute. This is my origin right here. See, I got confused right there. I was looking at this line. This is my origin right here. So I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left and down 1. So negative 4, negative 1. Point F is right here on the x-axis. So it's negative 4, and then I'm not going up or down at all, just negative 4 and 0. Point G is over here. It's right on the x-axis, right? So it is 3 to the right and not up or down at all. So that's positive 3 and 0. And then H is right below it. So positive 3 and negative 1. Okay, so remember that um, reflections are just mirror images. You always want to highlight the line of reflection. I think that is the most important thing to remember. And then you are just counting spaces, right? You just want it to be an equal distance on both sides of the line of reflection. If you need to go back and watch the video and see the examples again, you should certainly do that. And if you have questions, please reach out to your teacher. We are always here to help you. See you guys next time.